on the guy. Okay. Sorry, everybody's muted there so you can all hear me. Um, some of you guys have been attending the adult class. Great job with that. I see you guys learning a more advanced curriculum. And uh, let's keep that going for some of the older kids, probably if you're 10 or 11 years or older. Um, at 7 o'clock is the adult class. You can click on at that time, too, with your parents. And um, you'll uh, see the adult curriculum, more advanced, higher level stuff. And uh, any junior black belts, of course, too, um, can do that as well. All right, guys. So welcome to the dojo. Let's get started. Everybody back up. And let's have Hawk Max move back here, feet together. And let me get on here. Wait a minute. There we go. We got Sonia's little brother there. Fantastic. All right, class, let's do it. Make your bow. Say, please teach me, sir. And in, and in Japanese, we would say, Onigashimasu sensei. And of course, we make a bow to Shonen, Shoni Ray, us. And then the senpai, the senior student. I saw Liam Morgan out there. Great to see Liam Morgan. He's a junior black belt. Senpai ni Ray, us. And let's get it started. Run the place fast. Come on, get it going. Run faster than these cool cats over here. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. One, two. Make a circle. Three, four. Who's got it? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And hands on the waist. Circle the ankle joint. She needs some. She goes. Switch other way. And other ankle circle. And let's switch go the other way. Up and back. Let's loosen up. Loosen up. I really want to make sure you guys are taking good care of yourselves. Sorry, Fonchu. Um, be sure to take good care of yourselves while you're home during all this time. Make sure you get outside and play every day. Make sure that you do some exercise like we're doing here. Make sure that you uh, drink plenty of water, eat your fruits and vegetables. Last thing you want is to be sitting around the house for a month or two and not exercising, not eating right. So let's go the other way. And that could really harm your health worse than anything else. So also get outside and play, do this social interaction with the dojo class here, because it's gonna do wonders for your emotional state too. Wanna to take care of ourselves physically, mentally, and emotionally, and spiritually as well. Keep yourselves on the right path. All right, here we go. Turn the waist down. Twist it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and then circle the waist, loosen up all the way around. Switch other way, big circle, big circle, and hands are up, turn the body, go. Especially if you've been sitting around the house for a day or two, let's go. Loosen up, and switch to the other way, big circle. That feels good, yeah, loosen up right back. One more, and reach up high, breathe in, and down, breathe out. Be sure to breathe, breathe deeply. Breathing is so important, lean back, breathe in, and breathe out. And again, breathe in, reach up high, touch the sky, reach up high, that's it. And then down, breathe out. Good. And then from here, breathe in, and breathe out. Excellent, and reach over to the side. Let's go, stretch it, stretch it. Switch other side, big stretch. How far can you go? Two hands up, grab one, pull down. And switch other side, pull down. Good, circle one arm going forward. Big circle, I gotta watch out, I don't hit this lamp over here. And switch going back, big circle. Faster if you can, and switch other side up. Open up the arm, you want to circle high. Go like that, Maxine, let's see. There you go, Hawkins. And switch going back, there you go, good. Ooh, watch out you don't hit the table, you get close to it. Be aware of your surroundings. Now circle both arms, breathe in, and backwards, breathe out. And forward, breathe in, and backwards, breathe out. Be careful, you hit the table with that ratty, you're gonna get a big surprise. And now loosen up the shoulders, come on, loosen up, loosen up. Yeah, get groovy, come on. And loosen up the neck, do this slowly. Always take great care when exercising your neck. Down and up. And switch. Remember, if you don't use it, you lose it. Your muscles will atrophy, you'll lose your cardiovascular endurance unless you exercise. Again, while you're home, be sure to get physically active and keep your body in good, healthy, uh, healthy shape there. That's gonna also keep your mind in a good positive state as well. Because you know you're doing something good for yourself. Circle, big circle, big circle. And switch, go the other way. You got it. And shake out the hands, loosen up, big shake, big shake. And hands to the top, breathe in, breathe out, push together. Center, breathe in, breathe out. Good, and squeeze the fist. Circle the wrists. Big circle with the wrist there, there you go. Switch, go the other way. Wow, so is his little brother is doing great over there. That's excellent. Shake it out, shake it out. And from here now, push-ups and sit-ups. Let's go. Push-up position. 
And let's count them out. Ready? One, two, three. Let's see it now. Four, five. There you go. Six. Looking strong. Seven, eight. You guys are so cool. Nine. Come on. And ten. I'm back for sit-ups. Let's get started. Come on. Get it. One, three, two. Make a double punch. Three. Come on. Four. Train like a champion. Five. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight. Five. Nine. Hey, good job. Stand it up. Say yes, sir. All right. You got it. You got it, guys. And here we go. Now, move back, guys, so they can see. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm going to keep you guys on mute here, so make sure you're muted so uh, we can all hear the stuff. Okay, ready? Let's lay flat on the ground. We're going to do our cobra stretch. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then down, breathe in. Push back, tiger stretch, breathe out. And again, back to cobra stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. And back, breathe in, and breathe out. Stretch out the body. Good. Just like your muscles will get weak if you don't exercise them, your flexibility will decrease unless you maintain your flexibility through stretching. Again, if you're at home and you're not outside playing or going out and about as much as you would normally do, those muscles will actually shrink a little bit. So we want to make sure that we keep up our muscle tone, keep up our cardiovascular endurance, you want to keep up your flexibility, you want to maintain all of this health and fitness while we're stuck at home. Here we go, let's try it out. Next one, hands on the heels like this, and we're going to stretch back, go big stretch, big stretch. Good, and from here now, lay yourself down, head to the floor, good. And back up. This time, stretch all the way back. Who can lay back like this? Let's see. Limbo. <laughs> and then all the way up. Almost got stuck there for a minute. Okay, pretty good. Now, this time, one foot forward. Let's see a big stretch. There you go. There you go. And switch other leg forward. Big stretch. Mm -hmm. And from here now, back up. Open the feet. And sit down to one side, big stretch. Here you go, here you go. Don't fall on anybody's legs, that can hurt your knee, be careful. Flat your hands, switch other side, all the way back. Stretch those muscles, emphasizing a lot of stretching today. And then switch, roll back onto the heel. Oh, remember, no talking during class. Point the toes up this time. And switch, other side, roll back onto the heel and point the toes upward like this. There you go. And leg straight, point the toes up. You got it. And back up. Now, everybody have a seat. And from here, butterfly stretch. Here we go. So open the knees and push the knees down this way. Stretch out the leg. Butterfly stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. And back up. Let's go. And we're going to play 10 more seconds. Come on, get it going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Now let's do 100 push ups. April Fools, we're not doing 100 push ups. Okay, move back a little bit, guys. And here we go. All right, put your, uh, hey, can I have a piece of gum? Oh, okay. Ah, it's trick gum. It snapped my finger there. Ouch. We've been playing April Fools jokes on one another all day today. Okay, here we go. Let's put that down so we can focus on karate now. No more toys. You have any more gags in your pocket? No. You don't have a fake poop on you, do you? No. Okay, we did that one this morning, too. All right, here we go, class, back to action. Now, everyone say, I can always do better. I can always do better. And I think I can. And I think I can. And let's go for it. Drop back, front and skin. Ta! Uh, warm it up to the front skin. One, fire it out. Come on, two. And remember, you're working on one of the four parts to a kick. Good kick, good Give me five, you guys get better for it. Let's try One, front skin. Two, three, fold, kick, refold, and down. Four, and five, ha! Switch feet, we're on the other side. Friends kick, one, two, switch your feet now, we're on the other leg. Three, let go of the window, get your guard up and be strong. Four, come on, you're training here like a black belt. Five, hi -ya. And oh, let me see that kick again, go. Excellent, see how she got better when I held her accountable. You know, sometimes you, you think that your parents are getting on your case, they're on your back. Maybe you might think that they're being bossy or bullying you, but really they're holding you accountable. 
And holding someone accountable is very important because in this case, it just improved your friend's kid. And that's my job as a teacher. Where you stop, that's where your parents, leaders, coaches, teachers' job begins. And so you want to always make sure you take that criticism, that critiquing with the right attitude. And that's how you're going to get better. That's how you're going to develop and grow. Let's try that friend's kick again. Here we go. And right leg back, hands are up. And try the friend's kick. One. Okay, now can you go faster? Two. Can you keep your guard up? Three. Can you count loud? Four. One. And five. Ha. Five. Switch feet. Yeah. Ha. Switch feet. Ah. Switch feet. Ah. Here we go. Now with the other foot. One. That was fast. Two. We're going to kick to that back leg. Three. Now can you keep your guard up? Four. Snap it out. And five. Ha. Ah. Great job. Give yourself a hand. Nicely done. And high five. Okay, that's important for learning. We call it take your discipline cheerfully, or how to fail with class, or having the right attitude when one is critiquing you. It's very important to uh, uh, be able to have someone hold you accountable so that way you improve. Again, where you stop, that's where their job begins. And it's very important that you take it with the right attitude so you are open and receptive to that feedback. And feedback is the breakfast of champions. Here we go, let's scoot back now. And we're on to the next big thing. Jump kicks. Let's see your jump kick. I gotta watch out for the lamp. Ready? One, jump kick. Come on. Two, work some jump kicks. Let's go. Three, four. Who's got it? Five, go hard. All right, pretty good. And attention now. Say yes, sir. All right, when it comes to jump kicks, jump kicks are all about stretching out of the comfort zone. And so we don't want to stay where it's easy. Anybody can do what's easy. We want to make sure. Hey, guys, bring it over here. Come on, focus your eyes, remind the body. Attention on me. Let's go. Eyes on who? Say, eyes on you, sir. Give me five. Very good. Very good. So as I was saying, we want to stretch out of the comfort zone. And jump kicks are just a great practice to help us do that. And who's got a good jump kick? Let me get you guys here on the screen. How come I see you? Why don't you guys go back out here on this side? Okay, class. Jump kick practice, go. You're watching each other. Come on. Help the competition. Out to the person next to you. I'm even going to unmute you all so that way you can hear. Who's the loudest? Come on. Come on. That's it, Tyler. Get that kick up. Four, five. Four. Excellent, Rhea. Three. You want to not in your bed. What are you doing? Are you on your bed or the floor? And time to touch it out. Say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now dance contest. Go. All right. Never mind. And huddle up, guys. Bring it in. Say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, class. Let's see. You got everybody there on grid view. And let's see. Let's see. Let's have everybody here. Focus your eyes on me. Who's focusing the best? I see Duanka's focusing like a champion. That's it. Liam's focusing like a champion. Tyler's getting the wiggles out. Let me see how you focus, though, Tyler. There you go. Excellent. And the three rules of concentration. Say, focus your eyes. Focus your eyes. Focus your mind. Focus your, mind. Focus your body, sir. Focus your body, sir. Now, I'm noticing some of you guys look like this in the camera. Watch. Who can smile? Let's see a big smile. Go. Who's got the biggest, best, brightest smile? Okay. There you go. <laughs> that was it. Nice. Okay, guys, back to training. Let's move back. Here we go. Now, next move. And, oh, let me get you back on the right view here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I think we got it. Looks like something, right? Let's try it. Ready position. Stand like this. We're working on our, on our fighting combinations the other day. Let's continue that. Drop back fighting stance. Ha! Fighting combination number one, double punch, front kick, double punch. One, punch, kick, double punch, shuffle back, come on. Now the other side, switch your feet there, guys. Because now we're, switch your feet, now we're kicking with the left foot. Two, double punch, front kick, double punch, now shuffle back. So remember, you want to alternate sides. Maxine, Hawk, you're not doing it very well yet. I want you guys to improve on this. So let's try it. Put your left leg forward. Here we go. And you got to really focus your eyes and follow me. Go. Double punch, front kick. Step down. Double punch. That looked good. Now keep that leg in front. Shuffle back. Show everybody how we keep that leg forward, which she didn't do. There you go. Two. Double punch, front kick. Double punch. Shuffle. Great. Now you're getting that coordination. Let's keep this going. Go. Punch. Kick. Punch. Shuffle back. And switch your feet there. Go. Double punch. Front kick. Punch. Shuffle back. Okay, 
Hawkins has it really well. Let's see, go double punch front kick and double punch, shuffle back. Now I want to see you get on the other side. Double punch, front kick, double punch, shuffle. Give me five, you got it. Let's see you get the coordination. Follow along with us with your feet there. And here we go. Let's get this bench out of the way. Go, double punch, front kick, double punch, shuffle back. And now hands are up again, double punch. Front kick, double punch, shuffle back. Nope, you lost focus. You're fixing your hood. Your punch looks like this. Do it again. Get your left leg forward. I'm going to hold you accountable. Double punch. Double punch. Do it. Front kick, step forward. Double punch. Now shuffle back. Hands are up. Now the other side. Double punch. Nope. Do a good one. Double punch. Get your guard up. Now front kick. Go. Double punch. Shuffle back. Nope, you didn't shuffle back. Put that left leg in front. Now, shuffle is when you keep that leg forward as you move back. Excellent. I want you to practice that. That's the right way to do it. Class, let's get started. Here we go, everyone. Hands are up. Double punch, front kick. One. Double punch, kick. One, two. Shuffle. Two. Shuffle. Excellent. Okay, guys, here we go. Here we go. You're all on gallery view. And then we're going to unmute you all. Now remember, independent training is putting out maximum energy without supervision. So let's see everybody for the next 10 seconds. Do fighting combination number one. Let's go. Be yeah. Excellent. Hey, hey. Hey. Right, who's got it? Double punch front kick. Hey. Oh, faster, louder, stronger. Hey. Five, four, three, hey. two, one. Hey. And now freestyle, any moves you want to do. So begin, five seconds freestyle. Five, four, three, two, and attention. Say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Give yourselves a hand. Nice and nice. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. And then we're going to mute everybody here. Okay. All right, class, huddle up. Let's bring it in. Now, you know, it, it's important that you guys, yeah, we're going to thank our parents right after this video because they're doing um, some great stuff for you guys. They're helping you with this Zoom class. They're helping you with everything else. So be sure to be appreciative. And there's no better way of showing that than through your actions. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, who you are shouts so loud, I cannot hear the words that you are saying. And therefore, we want to make sure that our actions speak louder than our words. And that might be not just by saying thank you, but showing your attitude of gratitude, showing that by uh, being a good finder, that you're not complaining, that you're looking for the good stuff, that you're uh, being helpful, that you're being cooperative, that you're doing something the first time you're asked to do it, not the second, third, or 20th. And so let's make sure that we really show that attitude of gratitude through our actions. Does that make sense? Everyone say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, pretty good. And we've been working on our, this is for the black belts and all the senior students. We're working on our cipher kata. Let's have Hawk and Maxine now have a seat towards the back there. All right, here we go. Follow me if you can do cipher kata. And let's try it. So feet together. Let me get my thing up here. All right, here we go. Let's get started. This is the more advanced concept for the senior students. We bow, hands are like this. I'm going to perform it on the opposite side, so I will be your mirror image. Ready? Sipe up. Ready? Step, slide, pull, sit. Step back and back fist. Step, slide, pull, sit, and step, slide, pull, sit. Now we go to the side, make a crane stance, knee kick, front kick, other side. One up, one down, knee kick. Front kick, double punch, and then smash. Now we turn, we make a block, double punch, smash. Over the top, hammer fist strike. Ah, pull in an uppercut. Other side, hammer fist. Ah, then uppercut. Then we step in, punch. Step forward, turn, reach in. Circle block, and then push out. Circle the hands, and then back to yoi. And we bow. Arigato gozaimashita. And then right foot out, yoi. All right, give yourselves a hand if you're able to follow along with that. That's the kind of curriculum we've been working on at the adult class. So again, all the junior black belts or older kids, you may want to tune in at 7 o'clock. Same link to watch the advanced curriculum. Okay, Hawk and Maxine, come on up now. Let's give you guys some more advanced techniques. So we're going to do what's called the Mawashuke. 
Now, in our gig side of the ikata, it looks like this. They call it toriguchi, or tiger's mouth technique, because it looks like the mouth of a tiger. So let's begin. Put one hand on the bottom and circle. Don't be, uh, don't be concerned if you can't get it. Just have fun trying. This hand on the bottom, circle. We've got to challenge you guys, right? Let's get out of the comfort zone. Circle and push out. Good. And circle, tiger's mouth, toriguchi. And go. Circle, push out. And one more time, circle and push out. Now put the hand on the bottom, we're gonna go fast, get ready. One block strike. Another hand on the bottom. Two block strike. Another hand on the bottom. Three, paw. Another hand. Four block strike. One more time. Five, ha. All right, good. Now put one hand here. Now this is how we practice it. Wave goodbye to the attacker. Turn the hand upside down and strike low. Try again. So the hand that starts on the bottom finishes on the bottom. Turn the hand over, wave goodbye to the attacker, pull it all the way back, thrust it low with the low palm heel. One more time, that was good. You look like Spider-Man. Circle and thrust out. Now put the other hand on top and circle, and this one's gonna strike hot. Fingertips pointing up. Try it again. Palm towards you like you're looking at a mirror. Now circle and thrust. Yeah, one more time, hands up. Just the one hand now. Come across, circle, thrust. Now we're gonna put those two together. So this hand on the bottom, we're gonna cross, wave goodbye to the attacker, turn the hand upside down, and then thrust out. That was excellent. Yeah, tiger's mouth. Try it again, hand underneath, here we go. Like this, this hand on the bottom. Ready? And circle block, wave goodbye to the attacker, turn it upside down, like this, Maxine, and thrust out. Yes. One more time, this hand on the bottom. Mawashiuke, circle block, and thrust out. Awesome, give yourself a hand, that's kind of tricky. Okay, now put the other hand on the bottom, and let's try it. Circle, and thrust out low. So now we're on this side. Ready, wave goodbye to the attacker, and then thrust out. One more time, hand on the bottom, wave goodbye to the attacker, turn it upside down, and thrust. Now the other hand up. So that was a bottom hand, we're gonna do the top hand. So circle and thrust high. And again, here, circle block, thrust high. One more time, hand here, circle block and thrust high. This is like you wanna give the attacker a high five. Like, like you wanna give the attacker a high five. So this is the hand, we circle and thrust out like that. Okay, now put them together. So the hand that starts on the bottom is the hand that's going to finish on the bottom. Let's try it. Hands like this. Wave goodbye to the attacker, because we're gonna push him away. Here we go, try it again. So your hand's gotta be reversed. Other hand, there you go. Circle block, that's it. Turn it upside down, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. All the way, now pull it back. And now thrust out. Yes, and again, hand here, pretty good. Circle, wave goodbye to the attacker. All the way like this, pull it back, pull it back, and then thrust, ha! Oh! Okay, shake it out. Now, for those who are gonna be more daring, we're gonna alternate sides, so you can do it. This is the same curriculum we teach in the adult class, by the way. Give me five, you guys look like junior black belts already. Pretty good. Okay, hand on the bottom. Now, one side. Other hand goes on the bottom. Other side. For all you brown belts getting ready for a black belt test, this is part of Geek Side ID Kata, a required kata for your black belt test. Hand on the bottom, so good thing you're here tonight training. Circle and push out. Other hand goes on the bottom. Circle and push out. Other hand on the bottom. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ha! Other hand on the bottom. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ah! Good job. Shake it out. Welcome back. See you stand over there for a second so I have some room. Now, I'm going to do it opposite side. So I will be your mirror image. For my side, I would do this. I would circle with my right hand and I'd circle with my left hand, and then center. That's the end of Geek Side Dining Kata. For the sake of the video, I'm going to do opposite sides. You can follow along with me if you can. I step back, cat stance, circle block, and push out. I go to the other side, cat stance, circle block, and push out. Then center, and circle, breathe in, and then breathe out. Let's try that again. Shuto, this is the end of Geek Side Dai Nikata. We step back, circle block, push out. Then we go to the other side, breathe in, 
and breathe out. Good. Center and circle. Good. Okay, relax it. And hop back, see if one back up. Now, another part of Gig Side Dai Kata is the Hiki Uke. So, the Moloshi Uke is in case somebody's trying to punch you at your face, you'd use this hand to block it, check the elbow, make a punch. Now, the Hiki Uke is kind of the same thing. It's a different block, it's a pulling block like this. Hiki means to pull, Biki means to pull in Japanese. Welcome, Maxine, come on up here. So, one hand like this. This is like in the Karate Kid, wax on, wax off, underneath, and block. Think of the wing of a crane of a bird. Itch, block. Me? Son, so one is the tiger's mouth technique, the tiger technique, this is a crane technique. She, block. Go, broke. Now from here, itchy, use the white crane claw, which is a three finger grab. Ready, itch, white crane claw. Me, son, she. Now this time, use the tiger claw action, looks like this. Itch, block, tiger claw, like you're grabbing somebody's wrist after you block. Itch, grab. Me, grab. Son, grab. She block and grab. Go. Good. Now you can also use what's called the eagle claw technique, like this with the fingers together. Itch, block, eagle claw. Knee, eagle claw. Son, she. Now we're going to add what's called Tai Sabaki. We're going to block and move, block and move. Here we go. Itch, block, dodge. Knee, block, dodge. Son, she. Go. Ah. Now add on a counter punch. Itch, block with the crane wing block. Grab the opponent's wrist. And then punch, ha, right back to the face. The other side, block, and grab with your tiger claw, and punch, ah. Try it again, block, and punch, ha. Other side, block and move, punch, ah. Good. So now do it in the kata, step forward and block, step back and block. Again, step forward and block, step back and block. Here we go. Oh, we're running out of time there. And let's get it started now. Switch feet, put this hand forward, try it on the other side. Step forward and block, step back and block. Again, step forward and block, step back and block. So you're gonna see that in the kata too. Okay, here we go, Hakka Maxi, move over here. I'm gonna do Kei Sai Nichi Kata as best I can with this little room. I'm sorry, Kei Sai Dai Kata, this is number two. So let's try it. You bow, Oniyashimasu. Kei Sai Dai Again, I'm going to perform it opposite side, so it's like you're looking into the mirror. You just do it on your regular side, follow me. I, I step, high block. Step punch, I step back, low block, shikurachi. Then this side, high block, I step forward, punch, and I step back, down block. From here, I step in, middle, step in, middle, then front kick, and in this one, kiai here in the elbow, ah, and do all five moves there. Now I sweep shuto, I'm going to step in, so I'm stepping in there with the hikyuke. Now step forward and step back and block. Now from here, front kick, Elbow strike, ah, back fist, downward block, punch, sweep, shuto. Now here's that ending that we just worked on. Step back, washuke, and push up. Other side, washuke, and push up. Center, circle the hands, and back to yoi, and bow. Arigato gozaimashita. And then right foot out, yoi. Give yourself a hand, pretty good job. Okay, here we go, let's have Hark Maxine come out over here. And we're gonna do a side daichi kata. So we're gonna do it on the regular side. Here we go, guys. Move back behind me so you have enough room. And feet together, bow, oniyashimas. This is the regular side. Step, high block. Step forward, punch, watch out for the window. Step back, down block. Other side, high block. Step forward, punch. Oh, other hand, switch your hand, switch your feet, switch your hands, switch your feet, and your hand. And step back, down block. Step forward, make a middle block. Make another middle block. Front kick, elbow strike. Back fist right to the nose, down block, punch, ah, sweep, shoot up. And move in, middle block with the closed fist this time. Kick, elbow, back fist, downward block, punch, ah. Switch hands, Maxine, put your right foot forward. And sweep, shoot up. Now, turn this way. Go, shoot up. There you go. Now, pull back, step back, right? Step back, come on, do it. Double punch. And switch your feet, block and punch, ah! Ayah. And the leg that's forward is the hand that's upside down. A circle, and we step forward at the end of the kata, and bow. Arigato gozaimashita. And ready for that, yoi. Okay, now when you guys go off camera over there, you start bugging each other, just watch, just watch, behave. Go over there, please, so I can teach. Here we go. All right, good. Now we're gonna perform gig side eiji kata, opposite side, so I'll be your mirror image. You can follow along at home. Let's try it. 
Now push us. Kick side to each. Block. Punch high, not middle, but high to the face. Step back, down block. Now this side, high block, punch high, and then low, down block. Step forward, middle, step forward, middle. Front kick, elbow, hey! This is a middle level punch. It's not low, it's in the middle. It's not high towards the face. You have Jodan, Chudan, Gaidan level of striking. High, middle, and low. This is a Chudan ski, a middle level punch. Sweep, shoot, out. Now we step in, open hand block. Don't forget, it's like this. Step forward, one, two. Now, front kick, elbow, back fist, down block, punch. Sweep, shoot out. Now we step back, wash UK, and push out. Other side, wash UK, and push out. Center, breathe in, and yoi. And bow. I got those in that stuff. Did I do number two? I think I was supposed to do number one there. Anyway, guys, let's bring it in. Well, class. I'm gonna unmute everybody because I love seeing the social interaction with everybody. So let's get up here and our review. All right, everyone, say hi to one another. Hi. 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 Critic sending me messages. I'm going to check those later, though. Hi, my grandpa. All right. And hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, guys. Hey, real quick. Thank you again for supporting everything that we're doing. Um, as black belts, just like in a fight, if you're expecting someone to throw a hook punch, right, or a straight punch or whatever, let's say in a fight, you're saying, when they throw the hook punch, I'm going to duck. When they throw the hook punch, I'm going to duck. I'm waiting for them to throw it. Oh, he moved. Let me duck. Boom. And they get you with a front kick because you weren't expecting it. Your mind was not adaptable and flexible. It was in the future or it was in the past. What did they do last time? What do you think they're going to do in the future? Keep your mind in the present moment where it belongs. And so what you're learning to do is you're learning how to be adaptable and flexible. When your mind is in Japanese, they say mushin, no shin. Mushin means the mind of no mind. What does that mean? Doesn't mean that there's nothing there. It means that from the emptiness, everything can be filled into that void, that space. What we want to practice being is adaptable and flexible. So as things are maybe not going our way right now, we adapt. Just like in fighting, we adapt to the situation at hand. Very important concept. Hope you guys are being adaptable and flexible. Be patient, be helpful. I see Sonia's brother giving, him, uh, giving her some, uh, some hugs there. Be sure to say thank you to your parents. High five from Hawk and Maxine. Great class today. April Fools, everybody. Hope you all have fun. Y'all take some gum for April Fools again. Ow! Oh, right on the fingernail. That snapping gum always hurts. Okay, guys. Make your bows. I'll see you next time at the dojo on Zoom. Great job. Give yourselves a hand. Nicely done. Zoom, dojo. All right, take care.